Sorry. <laughs> this is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 236, for Wednesday, July 9th, uh, 19th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Brian was delaying turning the um, camera on. I was like dancing and trying to do some uh, shoulder exercises at the same time, and I don't think he appreciated it. Well, here we are. <laughs> Back from vacation, and that is so weird to say. We've never taken a vacation, ever. Um, it's been nine years. In fact, Facebook reminded me this morning that nine years ago today, we became friends on Facebook. And look at us now. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> wow. Is it a pen giving event? I think it is. It, I our, think we our, we're going to go downstairs. Facebook anniversary. We're going to go downstairs <laughs> after this. And we each get to pick out a sample of ink. Wow. <laughs> you know, I listen. Don't be so generous. I was going to think like a piece of paper or something, but Ooh. sample of ink. There you go. Okay. You could have a bottle. I could have a bottle. Depends on what it is. <laughs> So anyway, uh, last week we did not do a podcast because we finally took a couple days off that did not involve a pen show. Um, we went to Chicago, and um, you know we're, we're three hours from Chicago, and there are all these amazing things to do in Chicago, and we've been saying for years, oh, we should go down, and we should do this, that, and whatever, and we never did, so we just... When and we crammed a whole mm -hmm. lot of stuff into four days. It was exhausting. <laughs> it was really. Good. We came well, back for one day. Um, I had a, a checkup with my orthopedic surgeon for my shoulder, and we did a little laundry, and then we were gone for another three days up in Door County. And I gotta tell you, it was nice in Door County <laughs> just to sleep in, and and really do very little. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got we got married in Chicago in Cook County. And I've always been a big fan, and there's a lot of cool things to do. Um, we uh, we saw the Blue Man Group. Oh, my God, it was awesome. Uh, which, I'd never been. Which I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, I've seen him before, um, but uh, it's always good to see him again. We, we went to the Art Museum, which was fantastic, um, so much so that we became members while we were there. The uh, Art Institute. The Art Institute, yep. yeah. We went to the Field Museum. Um, which Brian was really excited about, but I gotta tell you, they really need some organization. Um, poorly signage, poor signage on the door, poorly signed inside the museum. You couldn't find things. You didn't know where you were. We wandered into one exhibit. We could not get out, literally. <laughs> it just went on and on and on and on. Okay, and we're on. really well educated though on that, that topic. Um, so. You know, there's there's cool stuff there. I don't want to yeah. I don't want to rag on on, it, on on the field, but it just the difference. We went to the field museum one day, and then the art institute the next day. What a difference! And what a difference, really. I mean, 180 it was, degrees. It was such a better experience. Yeah. Um, we went to the uh, the Willis Tower, the Sears Tower, whatever it is, um, at sunset, and it was beautiful. But holy cow, we were there with every single other person in Chicago. Yeah. Everybody went it at the same crazy. time. It was crazy. So we did not get to the ledge. No, we wanted um, to, but there were literally 100 people in line to wait for the ledge for each of the three ledges. Yeah, I wasn't doing it. Uh, it was crazy. Crazy. So. Um, we went up to Michigan Ave. That's always fun. Of course, we. this was the day that we went to the Field Museum, and we decided to walk to the Field Museum. And then we did the Field Museum, and then we Ubered for the first time. That was kind of cool. Um, we Ubered up to Michigan Ave and then went into um, some of the really, high, you know, there, there's Gucci and Tiffany and Louis Vuitton, and, and we went into the Mont Blanc Boutique. Uh, and Which was interesting. I bought some cartridges. We Okay, so <laughs> we have to explain this. I yes, know, yes. We are a Mont Blanc We're an authorized retailer. Mont Blanc retailer. <laughs> and I had to buy cartridges. We, we brought... This is this is technically our honeymoon. Since yes. We had taken honeymoon. We had we had honeymoon pens, and we brought them. But mine the takes. A, I didn't bring any bottled ink, um, and I needed a cartridge for my month long. It, it didn't have any international cartridges, so uh, yeah, we had to actually go buy cartridges uh, on vacation. Uh, not that she used the pen at all, but. Uh, 
Well, I didn't have time. It, it's <laughs> now on my desk, and I'm using it this week. It's Target. beautiful. Okay, okay. Well, so we should get into that. Um, We'll get into that in a minute. So the shed did, aquarium was cool. Yeah, we we stopped at Mont Blanc, which was which was interesting, uh, and it was good to see some of the other products that they carry. That you know the the watches and the leather, um, the leather and, mm -hmm. and some new new things. But uh, that was that was kind of fun. Interesting. I, I like to see how other pen retailers display their pens. Yeah. Um, it was it was very good. It was, it was very nice. nice yeah. And then we went to the Omega store. Jill, it's conveniently happened to be right across the street. Um, and actually, I'm always interested in customer service. I'm interested in how companies companies do it and how uh, how how well or how poorly co certain companies do it. Uh, we had some very poor experiences uh, in Chicago, and we went to the Omega store. And if I could hire that guy, I would. That guy was the best salesperson I think we've ever we've seen in a long time. And I have to say, ladies, he had an accent. I just was. That's not the reason he was a good salesperson, but. No, was, but, uh, you know, an accent, a foreign accent. It always, is just, yeah, it's nice. You know, it's exotic. <laughs> it's exotic. And he was sweet. He was wonderful. Um, <laughs> but we walked in, and I just um, went over to their, their really comfy couch seating area and just let Brian do his thing. And um, Gareth. Gareth, yeah. Uh, with a TH. Was. Um, Super helpful. Yeah. Yeah, real nice guy. He so knew his stuff. When the time um, comes. Yeah, he was uh, Brian it, will be back. It was it was it was a really it was a pleasant experience. I was like you, know, you have a pleasant experience walking out of the store. We had we had one store we went into one uh, jewelry store and it was I, I felt like I was being a bother the whole time I was there. It was just but anyway. Well you also tried on watches somewhere else. Or you looked at watches, mm -hmm. expressed quite a bit of interest and um, the salesperson uh, didn't bother to try to put one on your wrist, no, didn't, didn't no. really try to sell it. You know, customer comes um, in, wants a pen, so here, put it in your hand. Right. So anyway, um, so speaking of pens, um, your pen, Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and I don't have a picture of that. It's a uh, Mont Blanc 144 in Burgundy. Which is beautiful. No longer made, of course. Um, very, you know, they're not, I would say they're hard to find, but they're not as common. It's a beautiful color. Uh, Sailor comes really close with their, mm -hmm. with their burgundy uh, in their, uh, their 1911 and their Pro Gear Rialo. Um, but this is a nice, lovely color. Uh, this actually came into the store and, and uh, came in over the counter and I bought it. And I was planning on reselling it. And Lisa said, no, that's mine. <laughs> uh, my birthday's coming up. Um, so anyway, uh, so she got that. And then, of course, it had a converter in it, and I didn't think about it. Uh, I always carry in my backpack extra platinum and sailor cartridges, uh, especially for when we're, we're at shows. Uh, what did I say? You said Pilot. platinum. Pilot, yes. Yeah, pilot. Because and for shows, you bring your vanishing points. I use vanishing points, points yeah. Right. Um, and I didn't have an international <laughs> cartridge to save my life. I didn't so. even think about it. <laughs> and that's why we had to go. And so we walked in. We walked in the Mont Blanc store. Lisa says, "Oh well, uh, what 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 brings you in here today?" She says, "Oh, I need to buy some cartridges." And my jaw just dropped. I'm like, "We're <laughs> we're gonna pay for cartridges? We're gonna pay full retail? Full retail? So and a lot of sales tax for one cartridge." Well, to be fair, I think you bought something that we didn't actually stock. So. Well, maybe. Yeah. So that worked out. It was, you know, it was it was interesting. Um, it was a it was a fun time. Yeah. We had some good um, meals. We had some less than great service. So you know your typical vacation mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Uh, we had tried to do some research um, for things close to where we were staying, and uh, we had breakfast one morning. Um, I liked the food. Brian didn't. <laughs> Brian liked the coffee. I didn't. So I don't think we're going I back think, there. I think, I think we're going we're to try it one more time, uh, and then we're going to mix it up. So. Yeah. But, but um, um, no, you know, we try, whenever we travel, uh, which is 99% of the time to shows, we try to, um, on the road, you don't have many options, but once you arrive at your destination, we try to eat local, yep. you know, non-chain places, if at all possible. Uh, we try to, the local beers and, and have a good time with that. But, um, so we wanted to do non-chain food in Chicago and uh, we did. We went back to Miller's Pub twice. Yeah, great place. Miller's and then the Pub is really a... day we were leaving, they had grouper. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they had group. The day we left, everybody, <laughs> everywhere, they had like really great food that uh, we wanted. But yep. anyway, uh, Lisa got a Mont Blanc. Um, I had a Sailor, uh, surprise, surprise, 1911 Standard in Mosaic, the gray, which uh, we, we, very pretty. we happened to unearth uh, in February, and it's been sitting on my desk for a while, but uh, I, I threw a music nib in there, and that's really a fantastic pen. It's really, uh, really great, great writing. And in fact, I have some music nibs, but I haven't been using them, and I liked it so much that I think the next pen we get, which we're going to talk about later, I'm going to put a music nib in. Oh, cool. So, okay. That's real nice. I'm it's sticking it. with my medium yeah. fine. So, uh, anyway, that was uh, the justification, I guess. Um, when we were in Chicago, um, as much as it was uh, supposed to be a honeymoon and a vacation, uh, as business owners, we're never very far from uh, thinking about the company. So we were doing a little shopping here and there. We found a couple things that we're looking into bringing in. Um, so it was kind of fun to... Yeah. To uh, do a little research, yeah, we unplanned. saw some we saw some Monteverdi pens in one of the stores <laughs> we went into. I'm like, oh look, there's a regatta. Um, oh, and we saw some uh, so, Monte Grappa too. We did see some Monte Grappa, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we, so we, anyway, we uh, and we came back with uh, a couple things from one of the um, gift shops, uh, a couple mugs, some coasters. Yeah, I don't even remember do, you the do picture. That. And then uh, when we were in Door County. We stopped at a couple antique stores up along the drive and c came home with um, two really cool Japanese wall scrolls. So yeah, I don't know how old they are, but these, these poor things were sitting in the back room of a moist, humid, very it, sunny... It looked like a sunroom or a yeah. solarium or something. You know, it was old and dusty and, and as far back from the main entrance as you could get. Yeah, I'm going to say these things are probably, these are 20s to 40s yep. maybe. I mean, they're, 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 not, they're not new uh, for sure, but uh, they were still in reasonably good condition, and they made us a, a decent offer. So uh, we have two nice Japanese hanging scrolls now sitting in one of our rooms of our house. So We were excited about yeah. that. Um, but uh, While we were in Door County, we, um, I bought a scarf. Um, I have a thing for scarves. <laughs> It was far cheaper than I thought it would be, so I grabbed it. And uh, there's a place... Yes, but it has the... It has blue s anchors, anchors on, on it. Anchors on it, so that's why you for bought it. For the sailor logo, yeah. Um, looks cool. Black background, blue blue anchor, it was good. Um, there's a, a restaurant there called Al Johnson's. It's a store, and then there's a restaurant. And we picked up a little flyer about the company, and supposedly there are goats like billy goats, goats, that they will let roam around on the roof. The roof has sod yeah. covering it. And so we looked, and there were no goats. And we drove past it three or four times on the way you know, to and from dinner or shopping or whatever, no goats. And our was it the last day? Last day, we're cruising through town, goats. Finally goats. So we took pictures. They're on... Um, our personal Instagram pages, but yeah, goats on the roof. It was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. It's kind of it cool. It's kind of apparently cool. there's even a goat cam. There is, yeah. It's not it's not real time, but if you hit refresh, you can see them, you can see them move around. <laughs> you can so. watch the goats on the um, roof. So that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. So. We had coffee, and a spider decided to join Brian. Yeah, that was, yeah, um, was not fun. Creepy. Anyway, yeah. that was we had a good time. That so was. it's nice to be back, though. Um, lots and lots of stuff to do this week. So um, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, yeah. So yesterday we um, we did some improvements to the site. I'll just make a brief note here. Um, uh, new improved checkout process on the site uh, was installed. It's more streamlined. Um, we were able to fix, uh, there was a minor PayPal issue that would come up if you used PayPal uh, that our provider could not fix, so we, we actually just paid someone to fix it. Uh, they figured it out. Um, so that's, uh, that, was, that was installed yesterday morning. That's, that's looking, looking real good. You know, you make it sound so easy. We've been working on this <laughs> since <November>. freaking October. <laughs> October? Or we it finally October? contacted them in October, and they thought, first conversation that maybe they could get it done before December. They were having um, the, a lot of their people working on several projects. 
And then it dragged out, and then it was going to be March, and then it was going to be April, and then it was going to be May, and then it just... So it's finally done. It's done, yeah. But to have it be like, oh, well, we just made this little tweak, it took... Yeah, months. it took a long time. Letters and emails and calls and... and Attorneys and... <laughs> but anyway, um, it's so up. that's that's up. I, I think, you know, um, you know, feedback is welcome, of course. Um, polite feedback, of course. Had some people who are less than... Anyway, um, let's move on to some pens. Let's talk about pens. DC Pen Show. Oh, my God. Uh, it's coming up fast. No. Uh, the summer is pretty much... No. Uh, for for the for the for pen show season, the summer is pretty much coming to an end. Uh, we're getting back into show season. Miami was just this last weekend. We did not go, uh, but DC is coming up uh, right after that. Uh, a couple weeks later, San Francisco. A couple weeks later, Dallas. So the next bam, bam, next bam. three shows are just right in a row. Crazy. Um, but DC is going to be a blast. Uh, August fourth through the sixth. New location this year. Uh, we're going to have some some special guests are going to be. Uh, Stephen and Aziza uh, and are going to be there. I'm super excited. Uh, we haven't seen Aziza since Dallas several oh, years yeah, ago. Yeah, th two years ago, three years ago. I'm telling you, there will be screams and hugs. Just brace yourself, folks. Anybody in the vicinity, if you hear screaming, it's me. Yeah, it's good. Stephen and I are just going to be looking at each other. Go, okay. Whatever. That's the ladies. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to be there. Uh, we're going to have uh, you know Mike from Independence is going to be at the table. Mike. Um, in plaid. In plaid, and we're, we're joking. We were joking this morning about getting plaid for everybody. Uh, we're hoping to have uh, our good friend Steph behind the table. She said she's she's thinking about she's going to be able to make it. So we haven't seen Steph all year. I know um, she was in Toronto for a long she's probably, time. She's expanded dying. her collection by like ten times since the last time we've seen her. She's got she's probably dying to get to a show. She's going to whip out these pens that are going to be amazing. Oh, I just know me. it. I just know it. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see Steph. That's going to yep. be fun. Um, you yeah, know, we just, see Mike all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Mike. I'm no, kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, it's gonna it's gonna be a good time. I think it's just gonna be you know it seems like it's been a long time since the last show, but yeah. uh, um, it's gonna be fun. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we do have a couple of new things to talk about that oh, just came in. That super uh, exciting. If we dun, can, dun, dun. we will try to bring to the um, the show. Of course, uh, and we'll mention this again. If you're interested, just we can do pen show pickup. Um, Buy it we, online. These will go fast. Make sure you have it. These are the D new Ackerman Dutch Masters. Uh, these come in the uh, this is the 120 milliliter bottle. Is this the same size as the old bottle? I thought the old ones were 150. One fit. They were bigger. Yeah. So these this is a different the third different size that they've had. They're big. Uh, this is a big bottle though. It's a nice big bottle. Uh, the one here I have is the uh, the number three uh, that's on the screen, and I I'm, I can't pronounce any of the names. I don't even want to try. But uh, they come in some really, really nice colors, um, and who doesn't like that bottle? Um, yep. So that's uh, those are in. We got six new colors of that, and more on the way. And there's more on six the way. Six more on the way. Um, then uh, also recently came in, sticking with the ink theme, um, Diatramentus. We've got some new Diatramentus colors. Um, it takes forever to. Um, get this stuff in. So I'd ordered this, I think back in October. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's a small, um, mom and pop, uh, kind of thing. And, uh, we finally got it in some gorgeous new colors. Um, if there's something that we don't carry that you're looking for, let me know. Uh, we're always they have looking, a lot. yeah, we're always yeah. looking to expand lines. Um, but, uh, we got in some cool new colors and, yeah, Jules uh, Verne, Franz Kafka, Napoleon, uh, Charlemagne, Joan of Arc, Madame Pompadour. Yes. Um, that was cool. so, you know, you know that, that Napoleon looks like a nice color, but I can't seem to tell much of a difference between Napoleon and the, the Pompadour, but I guess I'll use the ink comparison tool. I guess you should. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, uh, new, new Diatrimet has come in, um, also super popular since we got it in the uh, Leuchtturm 1917 uh, notebooks. Um, we just got in the Nordic Blue some lines a day. So this is a five year. I, I can't imagine a this. five year a journal. Five year journal, and then you have a few lines for every day. You've which... got um, spaces for five different years per day. Um, they are blank. But yeah, you can. It's it's enough to write just a couple lines about each day. It's it's not a you know, 
Dear Diary kind Today of Today bought a sailor mosaic. No? No. <laughs> that, the, no. I should get one of these, actually. That would be, that would be fun. The, and then only I would, fill in when you get a pen. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a interesting, it, it's a really interesting concept, and that Nordic blue is killer. Yeah. That's really a killer color. I, I just love it. It's, it's, uh, it also comes in black and orange, but the, the Nordic blue is it's it's beautiful. A for. Now, before you move on, uh, we also will have in D.C. Um, the new Robert Oster ink for D.C. Okay. And uh, so we'll have that. Um, it's been ordered. It's been shipped. I'm not sure when it's arriving. That's uh, pretty quick, though. You know, he's pretty yeah. quick these days, yeah. But uh, once it goes on the site, if you want it, absolutely buy it online. Choose Pen Show Pickup because they will go fast. Um, so uh, the next the next thing that came in is, is you like, are like oddly this excited is, this about is, this. This is so cool, and I know it's like it's, now this is one of those things that we actually asked about when um, President Hisa and yes. Mr. Mori and Mr. Yasui came from Sailor Japan to see us. And yes. we'd asked about this. Yeah. And you should have seen the look on Brian's face when they said, it's coming. Yeah, we've been asking for this for over a year. And, and when you see the picture, you're look all going to go, that. it's a converter. It's a gold I converter. Know. It's a gold sailor converter. So that if you have one of the clear demonstrator pens that has gold trim, now you can have... Well, and not only that, but, you know, all, all the transparent demonstrators, they used to come with a chrome, you know, the silver converter. Right, right. It no. just looks, it looks a little off, but not only that, like when, uh, when you gave me my pen for my birthday, it's got gold trim and, and I was, you know... I, I had put a different nib in it, and I opened it up, and I'm like, you know what? This would look really cool because it's got gold trim with a gold converter, so I swapped it out. So, so there you go. It's just a little, it's a little minor detail, but it's just, it's it's really nice to have the option. I know it's yes. not, you know, it's not a $500 pen. It's a, you know, an $8 converter, but it's cool to have. Options. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So, <laughs> so that was exciting. Uh, very very happy to get that in. Um, this is cool. We've been. Um, working on this project for a while. We have some um, microgloss polishing uh, polish. lotion polish. Yeah. Um, there are two uh, formulations. There's microgloss and then number five. Yeah, we, we've, we've labeled them number one and number five just to, to make it easier to understand uh, which one is which. Um, and which do you use first? Well, you use the number five because it's slightly more abrasive. But this is a very, very, um, this is not like, like semi-chrome. This is a very uh, smooth, you know, put it on a cloth and you rub your pen. It's good for cleaning. It's good for polishing. But you use the number five first, and then you follow up with the number one. Or you can just use number one. But um, it's very, very, very fine polish. Um, it's very fountain pen friendly. Um, I've had really, really good luck on, on vintage pens with this. Uh, it's just amazing. So instead of taking off, you know, using semi-chrome or, or micro-mesh, which you can use, um, you know, really abrasive micro-mesh, you can use this micro-gloss, put it on a cloth, and rub it into your pen, and it uh, it really does a really nice job without taking away a lot of material. Now, there are times when you need to use 1,500-grit micro-mesh. You know, you got something that's all beat up, and, it, you know, it's not a collector pen by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, this, this is just a different application. Um, I really like it. It's, it's just, it does, you know, it doesn't really smell. It's, it's, it's smooth. It's, it's a nice, nice product. So, so the options are you can buy, um, they all come in one ounce bottles. You can get just the one ounce bottle of the number one polish, just the one ounce bottle of the number five polish, or you can get the kit. Yeah. And, and they got they have a little flip top cap and then you can just squeeze it out and it's just, you know. Yeah, I, I nice use little a, I use an old polishing cloth, that you know, just a regular cloth, and, and put it in. So, anyway, that's cool. Uh, always good to, to add stuff to the the repair category. I'm happy about that. Um, you know, quality products. But the next thing is uh, super exciting. Super exciting, uh, and it wouldn't be a podcast if we didn't mention Sailor at least twelve times. Uh, new North American exclusive. Yes, Anchor Gray. Uh, I love the name. The name is cool. They I did love a that good they job. They came up with that. Yep. That's, now again, we had. We've seen this. 
before it came out, right? We saw this when uh, when the when we had when our, Sailor our came. Company. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty color. It's it's no fresca. Um, I mean, it's hard to beat the fresca. It, it follows the fresca. Yes. Um, but as a North American exclusive, for some of you who thought maybe the fresca was a little too bright, um, this is a nice conservative, but not totally boring color. It's a nice, nice pastel yeah, it's, gray. Yeah, it's it's a nice gray, but not everybody wants that turquoisey fresca in no, their pocket. No, so no. this is a nice conservative option. Um, I love the silver trim. The yep, rhodium trim yep. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. it works. Um, works uh, uh, there's no other way to do it. No, I hate well. it when companies decide they're just going to throw gold gold plated trim on everything and yeah. it doesn't work with the color. But yeah, this no. is just a nice, clean, sleek look. Um, yeah, it's a 1911 large, a 1911 standard, and all seven nib sizes in each. Yes. Um, These should be in on Monday. Yeah, I'm knocking on. According my to tracking, there. they should be here on Monday. Uh, I'm getting the large at the music nib. I'm getting a medium fine in a standard. So. I, I like it. It's just a nice, nice It's It's pen. a nice, calm color. Mm -hmm. You know, the fresco is like, ooh, this is pretty. This is is conservative and subdued, and, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm excited. We'll definitely, hopefully, have these uh, in time for early next week. We'll have them in D.C., of course, but... Uh, uh, keep your eye out for these. Um, they're just they're really, really good, a great looking bands. If you think you are interested, um, go on the website, fill in that back in stock notice on each product page. Right? You can do that. Uh, you can't do it on this one, but oh. uh, just keep an All eye right, out. Just mind. keep an eye out on social media, and uh, we'll we'll definitely let you know when it comes in. So, but uh, that's that. Anything else? Nothing we can talk about yet. Nothing we can talk about yet. So I guess I don't know what, uh, you know, what we, we can talk about. I didn't get a picture of. Oh. Um, the limited edition pilot. Oh, yes. The Crimson Sunrise. Um, which caused a bit of a scandal. It did. And it, if you uh, continue to talk here for a second, I'll see if I can <laughs> uh, pull we, it up. We've, we've known about it, you know, that this is coming out. Um, but apparently someone in the UK leaked the picture before it was supposed to be announced. And so, um, uh, John Lane, the general manager of Pilot USA, uh, was not happy, um, that all of a sudden everybody knew about it and nobody was supposed to know about it. So, uh, it, it's out. It's cool. It's, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of the guillotine last year. Uh, I thought it was cool that it was um, chased, but after the twilight, which was so gorgeous, the guillotine was really boring. Yeah, this um, is this is this, this is, this is, is a, a, along the same lines. It's a tamer, but it's like a tamer um, twilight. It's pretty. I'm gonna get one. It's uh, you know almost almost vivid red on. You know the nib side to a, a dark dark red on the uh, on the, the push button side, but uh, uh, nice looking pen. I think it's uh, I may I may get one. I, I wasn't. I'll share mine with you. <laughs> share mine. I don't think so. Uh, it never works well for it us. It doesn't work. We 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 we've tried that before. It does not work because it just usually ends up on your desk. But yeah, well, sure. it works for me. <laughs> it works for you. Uh, no, yeah. So these are it's it's pretty. It's a nice nice looking pen. I'm excited. These will be out in what September? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So we usually we'll... get to see the one in person in September at the Dallas show. John brings it to us. So, so. anyway, there's that. Um, I think that's it for this week. That's all we can talk about. That's all we can talk about. So, thanks for joining us, and uh, tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Cool. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, fun videos, and all sorts of other stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.